this is Denea Jackson here here to answer a question I keep on getting this question why now did Derek beat you and drag you to save him well first let me say that only Jesus Christ can save Derek okay only Jesus can save him he has already done that and now Derek is laying in the bed that he made with the actions that he took and the only person that saved him from that and can save him from it is Jesus Christ. I can't do anything, say anything to to do that. Um, second to that, I never had a desire to come and speak to the public in this capacity um, and being attached to someone who is a, a great public figure, a great orator who 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 presents himself well can be uh, a lot to deal with, especially with coming to the world who says, you have to look a certain way, you have to sit up proper a certain way, you have to articulate yourself a certain way, you have to wear your hair a certain way, you have to do all of these things, which I'm not, have the right lighting and all these things, that is not my ministry. Okay, <laughs> I'm going to be who the Lord has told me to be. Guess what? Derek Jackson's no exemption. He, he's not exempt from that. I'm also not a victim. I'm, nobody made me do this. Uh, she didn't make me or push me to do it. The next person didn't make me. No friend influenced me. It don't matter how I was raised and what trauma or whatever. Look, I made decisions. I made a series of decisions that I got to account for. There's no excuse or justification. I've already made that bed and have, have had to lie in it. Um, and now we're finally getting on to the other side personally in our own healing and our own marital oneness. Um, and now this is being made public to you guys. So we're bringing that forth to you guys to let you know where we're at with that. But did you want to say anything? It's all good. People come and go so quick. People come and go so quick. Welcome to Explicit Intelligence. Here we focus on various topics, different perspectives, objective dialogue explicitly. The Mr. with the Z, cool with the K. I'm with Beijing and Miss Maddie Monroe. What up with it though, ladies? What up, what up? Yo. It's your girl Beijing. Yo, can I get a yo? It's your girl Miss Maddie Monroe. You already know what it is. So, um, all right, our next topic that we're going to rap about is uh, the homie Derek Jackson. So, um, yeah. Fraud. Fraud. Yeah. <laughs> so, so, so we're we going we gonna to give y'all a brief. If y'all don't know who Derek Jackson is, basically he's the, uh, the, the woman whisperer. He, he panders to all women's emotions, especially the ones just getting out of a breakup. Those are the ones he grabs. Um, so he's been doing this for over but 10 11 years, Miss Maddie. Just about, yeah. He does it from his car, like Hassan Campbell. He does the live from his, it, I guess, his pre record from the um car. And, and I would be in his chat and I'd be like, bruh, for the amount of money you getting at this point, could you at least give the folks a good show? Your right. background still is your car, no studio <laughs> tricks. <laughs> Bro, you don't have no gas on now. It's time to upgrade the business, right? He still did it from his car, like he would turn. Yeah, from his car, like outside or something. Like yeah. That. Hey, and from what the story said, he was outside of the homegirls he was cheating Ooh. with. Like, dang, this dude, this dude's a clear narcissist. So he would, he would basically tell how, tell women how wrong a man is and each aspect of life basically and we had some men that was like look this Derek Jackson dude and I know I'm a proponent for it because I used to see the uh the Derek Jackson quotes 
and it'd be oh. all over Facebook. Women be posting the Der Derek Jackson quote. I'm like, who is this dude, Derek Jackson? I would see those quotes, and I, I would start started to look that name up, and that's when I found him. I was like, oh, so this is what this dude doing, and I'm like, oh. ladies don't see through this shit. <laughs> you mean to tell me I could do the Derek? J I, I could clearly do the Derek Jackson dance. But I see, did. I yeah. need to go watch this nigga video because hmm. see, y'all, I don't know. I'm telling you, please do. We decided to work it out. We hired Derek Jackson as our relationship coach. <laughs> so what we're giving you is like a brief overview. So let's say uh, the topic was um, seven signs your man is cheating. He would basically quote unquote break man law by telling women he would give the seven signs right he's basically breaking like guy code by telling yeah like, like, these little tidbits and shit some of it some of it is clear code breakage some of it is like bro where are you going with this this is clearly not us this is not men bro but you you look at his comment section and the women are like yes i just experienced this derek <laughs> oh, no facts, Derek. You tell the truth every time, Derek. Derek, your shirt looks so sweet today. I love the way you look in the car, Derek. <laughs> oh, no. Yeah, I'm trying because everybody for 10 years, everybody was assuming homie right, was a single guy. Right. So it just, right. So, right. you know, thanks to, thanks to Tasha K. Shout out to all my boy Tasha K. Wano gang in the building. Gang gang. Okay, okay. Wano gang. I love her. Because she definitely said this shit months ago. Like, the girl who came out, she was going to interview her, but I think she got scared and, like, kind of backed out or whatever. And Tasha said her little piece about Derek, and he went online and said whatever he said about her. And sure enough, a few months later, he had somebody else come talking about, oh, yeah, I was messing with him. I think he had posted his wife or some shit like that. I forget what happened, but. Mm -mm. Typical nigga shit. <laughs> yeah, yeah, because like recently, like a few months ago, he posted the wedding pic. And I think they've been married since 2019, maybe, or maybe 2018. Might have been um soon, uh, earlier than that. I think about and four or five years. They've known each other since college. Like they've known each other. I think he was in school 2007 to 2012, maybe. Yeah, I seen the Tuskegee uniform and shit. I was like, oh, he went up there. That's cool. All right. She used to be thick, and then she. I Woo! Just, oh, video. girl. I'm telling you, she could get it. I'm telling you, if yeah. they break up, I'm going to hit her DM. No lie. Because sis was definitely working out in the gym, doing her thing. She's cute. Like, yeah. you see her now, and she's like, oh, you see a bonnet, I see a helmet of God. And I'm like, oh, I'm such a firm <laughs> But in the Lord, but sis, come on now. Like you look crazy. Like you, you're looking crazy right now. And you sitting here defending a man that you know in your heart of hearts is like, no, this is not. Like it's too many people coming out saying this. Like, oh, I already knew about these situations. No, you didn't. Right, you didn't. right, right, right. And 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 how bad do you look by stating that? Yeah, I already knew. So you should know he ain't stopped. Right. Because he hasn't stopped like since like last week. <laughs> Not too long ago. Did you see that episode? From yeah, Tasha I see K? that. That surgeon was on there talking about how she was pregnant. Yeah, he yeah. He wanted to get the abortion and he was like, no, let's figure out what to do. Ooh, wow, wow. And then she was like, yeah, all those videos with them arches, that's my house. Like, so it's yeah, really like he did, he did his content at the joint. He was smashing crib, though. And even as the wife, you not watching these videos and you don't act like, where was you at when you recorded that? Like, that house don't look familiar. I don't, I've never seen that house before. Like, where were you? <laughs> I need the location on that video. Like, he's cute. Like, he's he's not my type, but he's, a, you know, he's a tall, dark, handsome man. Like, obviously. He's clearly what ladies so would go daughter. for. Yeah, I, I'll give you that. I'll give you that. But he's at least feeling himself enough to know that he can pull any female that he talked to. Oh, you yeah. know what I mean? Like, and and it's just certain things as a woman you know like women we know it's called women's intuition that drink ain't no joke i be calling them premonitions from the lord because it'd be too on point but we know as women and if you ever have to question this sis you already answered your own question hey, like, at this point i i i don't mean to um go on homie's business i know that the pandering business is his thing but just like just like uh 
Just like I, I target the Democratic Party, the black delegation, the black delegation Democratic Party. Like I target them when I when I look at Biden and he does his speech and he makes no sense at all. <laughs> and I say, all right, black delegation, everybody that voted for Biden, um, please explain why the hell do we have him here? Because he don't. What is he doing? They slide in the bushes like Homer Simpson. I know you've seen that. Mean, that mean. So <laughs> yeah. At this point, at this juncture, I'm looking at women that follow Derek Jackson heavy. I mean, I've seen posts from Derek Jackson on IG that people I know liked. So I, I just want to know, ladies, what are we doing with Derek Jackson going forward? He lied to you. Cause you said you would not turn on me. You <laughs> lied to mm -hmm. me. This is your man. Yes. Look at the screen. That's mine. And, and, I, that, and, and that's and that's him. and that's what you're gonna settle for. I'm gonna stick beside him. Return of the Mac. He gonna return. He gonna get that shit back. <laughs> Watch him get that shit back. Cause if yeah, mm -mm. I'm sorry. I I ain't even cut you off. Cause it's annoying as fuck that people put so much into a person on social media. This man went. He didn't go to school for like relationship counseling <laughs> or anything like that. Like oh, you see a big black man. Oh, black men don't cheat. Uh, yeah. Oh, Shit. like come on son everyone has cheated at least one time in some relationship like, <clears throat> <everyone's throat> <throat> years, like that nigga is not me, not me but <laughs> the fact that women really was putting so much into this man and boy his books and y'all fucking up with y'all niggas because he saying <laughs> stuff like this like i'm sure people are sitting back like damn i really like what this nigga said and 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 i lost my nigga because i'm listening to this idiot and he's out here doing the same damn thing like figure it out yourself stop looking for other people to give you advice okay especially people that aren't qualified to be giving this type of advice what qualifications does he have to be out here giving this advice What's going on guys, Derek Jackson here, and today I am joined by my lovely wife, Denea, and we just wanted to address a couple of things. You know, we understand that some of you may have already heard, maybe not, um, that this chapter of our marriage is one that was preceded by a marriage that I completely failed. And I would say it just started around August, maybe September of last year. But you know, a lot has been said already about what was the cause and all that other stuff. Some of it is true, some of it is completely false. But the truth is, and I'm saying it here now, is that Derek Jackson was involved with other women outside the marriage. And by involved, I want to be clear, I'm not talking about just casually kicking it, maybe a lunch or something like that. I'm talking about as serious as sex um, to sexual flirtation and, and meeting up and that kind of thing. And some things that otherwise may be considered okay by some in terms of like just chatting or, or checking on people or being checked on by people that I've had a previous encounter with. Uh, but without my wife's knowledge of it and with us having a sexual history, all of it falls under the umbrella of eating, affair, stepping out, um, def definitely not in alignment with the vows that I took um, and definitely not in alignment with the biblical standard of what it means to be faithful, which is the standard that I'm going by now. Now, I'm saying this publicly, not because I'm you know, married to you guys. First and foremost, I'm accountable to God. Then I have to be accountable to my wife, in which we've already had this conversation. I've already told her literally everything. I've given her basically a, a roll call list. If I've said hello to a woman in the last 12 years of me knowing her, she knows about it. Um, but now that it's been made so public, um, it's important that I first off let you guys know I do not stand by those actions. I don't want to encourage anybody to do that. And then secondly, I know that I cannot build a platform preaching certain things, preaching against certain things. And then in my real life, live contrary to that for any amount of time or, or any length of time to any extent and think that I can't be held accountable. I've been flooded again with messages and these things and about, you know, I need to leave or why haven't I left? And the answer is when I found out about it, I left. I did not hesitate or waste time to do so. And I stayed gone no matter how many times he came. I stayed gone and stood firm on I am not coming back and I did not come back until I seen a shift and a change in his mentality and how he carried himself and how he presented himself and in conversations that we were able to have that we had never been able to have in just 12 years of knowing each other. And when we, when we were able to have these dialogues, said, okay, Lord, this is 
something that you've had your hand on. And this was with me being completely removed from his life. Um, for those who are saying, Derek, I don't want to ever listen to you again. It's totally understandable. I appreciate you while I had your support and helping me get the message out about healing and healthy relationships to so many people who needed it, myself included. And for those who are going to continue to support, man, I appreciate you like never before because I know it's not going to be easy going forward, it's at least for a little while, while so many things are still fresh and attached to my name. But for everybody out there, if, if you get nothing else from what I've ever said over the last nine years or right here in this video, please get this. Nothing is right until it is right with God. Nothing works until it comes into alignment with biblical standard of how God told us to do things, especially when we're talking about a marital, spiritual, uh, spiritual covenant. Get him. Oh, Get him, Miss Maddie. I'm trying to Get understand. Him. No, I'm dead ass. Like, where, where? I'm looking this man up, and I'm like, so where does it say he went to school for like counseling, psychology, anything in a psychology field, anything in marriage counseling? Nothing, none of that. I don't see any fucking qualifications for that. So that's y'all own damn fault. <laughs> that's your fault. Like you're dumb. The fuck? Come hey, on. so basically, so basically, this dude was, you know basically break, breaking man man law and pandering to women women's emotions so he got caught up in his own game he ended up cheating on his wife for a while and he's it, to, to our knowledge as recent as two like weeks ago week. yeah, yeah two weeks ago, he's, he's smashing it off and homegirl so the wife now is getting live addicted because she did a few lives and the first live she did was with her husband and so she had on, I don't know, what the shirt she did. She have on a fatigue shirt then? She had on, no. So the first live that she did with her husband, she had on like a black thermal. Yeah. Like a black. Now, it wasn't. She got me, on a black junk with a black hat and, and some a, black pants. He got this dumb ass. I don't really think that was a bonnet. Yes. Like in, it was like one of those like little, like, you know, woven hats or something. I don't really think that was a bonnet. But either way, it still looks nuts. He got a video called Porn is Killing Your Relationship. See? Oh, yo, she, you going through. So, so, so check it, right? So, um. So she does a live and she 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 quoting scriptures and shit. She talking about how she she got her war paint on and um this bonnet is her uh what is it, her war helmet or whatnot. Her war helmet, yeah. She, she about to she about to run through some of y'all haters and whatever it is she was going through and I was just like, bruh. You letting your wife do this shit? Like, you got to tell her this to stop. This is spiritual warfare. And if you are not prepared and you do not know what to do, you will drown and you will be a casualty in this war. I did not come here to play games and to play dress up. I came here in my battle suit. I came here on the battleground covered in the blood of Jesus. You see a bonnet, I see the helmet of salvation. You see an army green shirt, I see the breastplate of righteousness. And I've come to the battleground, covered in the blood of Jesus, to proclaim victory over sin. And as God does for me, he is going to do for those of you who believe. Y'all both gotta stop. What are you doing? This Bama did a, he did another recording commentary on his yep. own recording in the third person yep so let's do it and by the way i'm gonna speak in third person um a lot of you already seen this but this is Derek jackson um, a lot of people think of him as a relationship expert and guru and all of that well he and his wife are making this video because apparently at some point in their marriage or maybe even beforehand in a relationship he didn't take his own advice and he stepped out and he got involved with other women as you heard them say now upon first impression nothing really stuck out to me about him but more so about the wife like i heard her say that she stands with her husband she's proud to love him um i heard her say that you know this is some time ago they've already processed this overcame this dealt with this a long time ago and nothing's really new to her but just by her body language i was really wondering like did he force her to do this video like she looks super uncomfortable like she doesn't want to be there but then i watched their live chat that they did right afterwards and you know i kind of caught that this is just a part of her personality so that kind of explains somewhat of her demeanor she clearly has a mind of her own if you saw the live chat too and she said that the live chat even was her idea um so with that cool she wants to stand by her husband she feels like he's worth it she has that right now as far as what he said 
I understand and I and I completely applaud him taking accountability because too many times we see dudes and they got this sob story about how they was raised and you know they broken home and the goldfish died and they never seen a marriage and all that. he didn't do that he just took accountability but I hope he understands that all the accountability in the world is not going to rebuild broken trust not on a personal level and even with the public that he's addressing like even his most loyal supporters at this point will probably have a raised eyebrow from this point forward whenever he wants to condemn another man for something like this and, and rightfully so so hopefully he understands that and I also thought it was very intriguing how he brought in God at the end you know I don't really hear him speak like that so you know do it God's way or else it's gonna fail now if I saw that a couple of years ago I honestly would have called honestly would have called BS. I honestly would have been like, nah, dude, like you can't use God as a scapegoat, you know, as if you not having Jesus is why you did what you did. Like if Jesus was there with you when you was with those other women, Jesus would have zipped up your zipper for for you. That's that's not how it worked. Like, who are you kidding? Now, regardless whether you like him, love him, or hate him, I think this is a great example as to why we don't need to be putting anybody on the pedestal. Nobody. And I think a lot of women did that. And I'm not even gonna say it's the women's fault by themselves because this dude is this dude, he never really showed his struggle. You know, we understand, oh, we're all humans and we all make mistakes, but he never showed those mistakes, not for real. I think he wrote about it or something like that, but he never showed that side, so it's not really all on the women. But I've seen a lot of women put this dude on the pedestal to the point of idealizing him and even comparing their man to him. Like, they'll compare their man's good, bad, and ugly whole story to Derek Jackson's snippet. I don't think it's healthy I don't think it's wise to ever idealize somebody or compare them like not only because somebody can be living a double life which I don't think is quite the case here according to his wife behind the scenes without anybody knowing and of course this part ain't gonna blow up but he's been putting in the work to kind of reconstruct where that all had been broken since last year so I don't think it's a double life thing but you don't know what struggle somebody has behind the scenes you don't know their shortcomings you don't know where they're falling short so it's just not wise to compare you know, on any level nonetheless I know some some people will see this type of video, even though he's come forward and he's been completely honest. Um, some people are just going to close the book on D. Some people are going to close the book on this dude and say, you know what? I'm done with you. Cancel you. Cancel culture. Come here. But I'm no guru. Those are just my thoughts. Y'all let me know what you think down in the comments. And by the way, he has a book detailing how he and his wife overcame all of this in their private lives a long time ago. Matter of fact, it's on. It, it's on. I don't, it, yo, the, and that's a trend on YouTube. It's a bunch of weirdos out there. And I think even in that background of that video, I think he was in front of the mistress' house. If I'm not mistaken, don't quote me on that. I had I was like trying to zoom in and look real hard and shit, but I felt like he was still in that back. Like, why are you recording in your car? She did mention that he was jived like um, on a possessive side. Yeah, really. He impressive. would always yeah. show up to the to the doctor. The, to the doctor's office she performing <laughs> surgery in the, text message, in the text message he's like oh i i'm coming to your office i don't care i'm not leaving until you talk to me type of shit like yeah she said she said the bama be in the parking lot whacking his whacking his meat while she in, in, in at work i'm like bruh what is wrong with this bama what's wrong with this bama Something wrong. Mm -hmm. he, he need to he need to go to uh what's her name? Ayanla Van mm -hmm. Van Fix My Life. She yeah. need to go on that junk. Hey, I, I was watching um an episode of her. I get her now. I used to hate her because I was like, Why you yelling at him like that? Right. Nice. He ain't do nothing to you and you always yelling at the dude. Until I seen her go on the chick. I was like, yeah, you get her and you get him, too, because he smacked. Um, go to the episode with Jason Maxfield, the former NBA player. Mm -hmm. that, shit, that shit was pretty sad. I was like, this family even knows his body count number. When he said it, I was like, that. you just go to it and we should talk about it. Go to Jason Maxfield. And what's her name? Ayana. Is it Ayana or Ayanla? Zan Van, Vlan Zan. Just send it in the chat. Just send it in the chat. Yeah, I, I'm gonna send y'all the link. Watch that. We're gonna talk about that. But Ayana Van Van, like what? The yeah, he <laughs> need to go see Derek Jackson. Need to take his wife, the home girl, man, on the Oprah Network oh, channel. Oh, I'm gonna tweet that. That's actually yeah, he need to do that. He, that he should. Good. That's it's gonna save his business. It's gonna look. You heard it first on Explicit Intelligence, Mr. Cool. Here told you. If you get on that lady's show, you need to show out. Mm -hmm. you, you need to cry. You need to throw up. 
<laughs> you need to let her slap you. Yeah, he, he need to let Ayana slap him too, cause he know he wrong. You you job fucked up a nation. Mm -hmm. Cause women was <laughs> they gonna end up merge boot camp. You know what? And all that. Give them all that. TLC channel. Give them all them contracts. Then write another mm -hmm. book about how you how you you know you you conquered this shit. For nah, real. That. I ain't buying that shit. Hey, oh, hey. not you telling everybody his business plan. I got, I got, that's yeah, I'm saying, if, he, he, if he take my route, if he take my route, he going to win. If he don't, he going to lose. I'm telling you, he give and him a lot of the things, And a lot of the things he said aren't just men. Like, men weren't the only people doing that shit. Thank I you. Put out there. Like, women was doing that shit, too. Yeah, um, he's a fraud. <laughs> he's He's been a fraud. Like, I, I watched, like, all of four of his videos in my life and was like, this nigga's a fraud. <laughs> And back in my Facebook days, I used to see them posts all over the place, man. I used to be like, oh, yeah, y'all taking this motherfucker's uh, advice, hey, okay. Y'all don't even see that he pandering to y'all. He's saying all the right things. He ain't, he was perfect with it. There yeah. was not a, there was not a recording he didn't do that nobody liked. Them, them women was like, yeah, we mess with you. I did. We want you. Because they ain't know he was married until now. We want to be with you, Derek. He probably was fucking all of them, too. Man, how many was he cranking? Like, he he clearly uses his platform to get girls. And I get it. That's Not only is your money maker, that's your, that's your coochie catcher. Right. And shout out to him because all the women said he was good, too. So at least They said he was throwing that thing down and he could tongue them things. Shout out to mm -mm. Yeah, they said he was oh, good in the in the sack. They said he was laying that shit down like a mug. Morno <laughs> Jones. Getting it. Fucking the mm -mm. like, Y'all are man. Y'all are a man. Y'all are a man. He was like, God damn me, that is community dick. I'm kind of nigga, but that is community dick. Yeah, wow. they share that dude. They share that hoe. Like, it's one thing to be a hoe, but you can't mm -hmm. be a hoe and be preaching, oh, faith on that side, and you're right, you can't cheat on your Why y'all men be so easy, though? <laughs> Those <laughs> women sound kind of easy, too, because after a week of knowing him since we're smashing, I mean, I mean, ain't nothing really wrong with that, but still at the same time, like, y'all, I can't, I don't know, that unprotected sex shit, I can't get with that. That shits me, like, hey. after a month, nah, like, at least, like, at least not. Nah. <laughs> <laughs> hey, uh, I, I wanted to mention, did y'all see that video I sent from the plainest Jane about the possible cult that that Bama Derek Jackson is in? Oh, yeah, I seen that, which makes sense. I've, yeah. I've definitely seen shit like that, but not the pastor in there talking about spit that man's semen up. I was yeah. so oral I sex demons. You. Oral sex. Spit the demon oral up. Oral sex. Oral sex demon. You see oral sex. Look, oral sex. Look, 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 look. Delivered me two Sundays back, then a demon came with his penis and put it in my mouth. And and then he tried, he came again and he slept with me last week. And I, I told the, the pastor that I need deliverance again. And since then, my private part has been itching. It's been itching? Yes. Get! Who are you? Who are you? <laughs> Who are you? <laughs> Who are you? <laughs> Speak! <laughs> Who are you? She was screaming exactly when he was putting the mic to her mouth. Like real loud. <laughs> right. Like she will wait until the mic got to her mouth and then she would it would be that like point zero 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 one pause and then she would scream Clearly. and this is like, are you waiting for the mic to get to you? <laughs> like I'm I'm real life saying I'm just like okay. Hey, so I, then they get she get the screaming and shit when he get the spraying. I'm like, what is he spraying? Yeah, he is he spraying, spraying like bleach, bleach on your coochie or something? Like, what you screaming for? Like, I don't get. I didn't. I did not understand shit. I was watching. I'm like, <laughs> hey, shout out to the this is not. Jane. This is not it. Yeah, this that, is not it. Then she was like, the demon came and stuck his in her mouth, and I'm like. Yeah, yeah. So you, so so a man came to your house and y'all and you gave him hey like that's that's what you grown like what, 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 hello like I don't get it like <laughs> that bad that's rape that's what you saying like that's yeah. okay the fuck 
I don't need to go through to the authorities. Not, not, <laughs> not that guy. Hey, hey, look, what's, not, what's, what's, what's really going on? Yeah, hey, but nah. But the crazy thing is, I seen that video. I, cause you know, like those three in the morning infomercials with the passes and shit. I did too. I've seen him on there, and I, I remember, yo, you, cause you know, you be smacked. So <laughs> I clearly, I remember I was sitting there listening to that shit, and I'm like, wait, hold the hell up now. Cause I know my high ass did not hear what I just said on this television show about this church. Like at my yeah, church, I see seen this channel. Later, I was like, oh yeah, no, I really heard that. Like, who is this guy? Mm. Then to see this video, I'm like, wow. Yeah, and then I ain't know that the, the, the big dude in the video was actually Derek Jackson. He the deacon and shit. Yeah. The weird, the weird church of Latter Day Saints. <laughs> Holy Christ. Whatever they call it. Yo, shut the fuck up. <laughs> Yo, shut he's up. The, he's the deacon. Look, you can see. Hey, if y'all can, um, we'll probably send the link below. The plainest Jane exposed Derek Jackson's church. Um, there's a video of uh, Derek Jackson's wife stepping up to the. She looks so innocent. She look. She looks so like. Uh, just out. Of, like just don't know. She, yeah, <laughs> like get out, get out, mixed with Seely from the color purple and shit. Yo. I can feel for. Her. I'm like, what's wrong with you, Bonnie wearing chick with the army fatigue shirt? Talk about I'm going to war for Jesus Christ. What's wrong with you, my girl? You need to let that man go. Yeah, I think it's like you need to let that man go. Get that bread. <laughs> get that bread. He ain't signed no cleanup. I know that he did. Really? Yeah. He didn't. He probably didn't. Hey, hey, yeah. He in in that did. order too. I peeped it. Get that head and get that bread and get yeah, up he, out of there. That, and he deserved that shit, man, because he been in that car for eleven years talking that shit. Yeah, yeah. You should leave the seven signs of man and cheating on you. You shouldn't be there in that relationship, shit. And single mothers need love too, and I give them that. He, he was just all you on that shit. He is giving the mothers, the single mothers, the love, just digging them down. Just Clearly. God damn. And this so it. sad because he used the whole religion thing to keep his wife. Like, seriously, you could tell that that is a woman of God and she is about her faith. But all he did was use that to, you know, oh, we shouldn't get divorced because in the Bible it says, da da da. Right. Like, he used all of that to manipulate her, and now she's like, oh, no, he's healed. He's, like... The devil made me do it, baby. Listen, listen. That manipulation with religion and the mind and all that, that shit is something serious. It's like for birth and strength. That ain't no shit to play with. Like, it will change the whole person's persona about... She probably done turned the whole whole damn family. Her family is probably like, yo, you need to leave him. She probably don't fuck with her family no more. None of that. Like, no. Like, all that crazy shit. And she gonna kick his ass one day because the story oh, just gonna come out. And if homegirl... So uh, allegedly, I don't know if she got the abortion or not, but, you know, I heard there was a pregnant person wrong involved and shit. He was cheating on the white while she was pregnant. Yeah, yeah gross. Right before they got married. Probably gross. Before they got married. That's so disgusting to be cheating on your wife while she's pregnant and 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 probably yeah. filling her up still like you nasty yeah, that's dude. when they are nasty. at their height like, that's when they at their peak when they wanted the most and he probably was dicking down his wife too like he yeah. he has an addiction like those are all the signs of a sexual addiction in my opinion because just based off of how you know shorty talking about he's whacking off in the fucking parking lot and yeah weird and shit between surgeries and we fucking in the car like damn nigga i just had somebody brain on my fingers and you trying to fuck like relax like, yeah say. yeah they see man bruh jackson i'm telling you you save your business by following my law if you <laughs> go to see the home girl Fix my life, home girl. I'm telling you, you could, you could, you could rock that, and you could be right back on YouTube where everybody loves you. You can get it, man. And, and if you do, and give me my well, cut, be bro. A real nigga. Like, <laughs> just, just be real about it. Like, yeah, I slept with her, and I slept with her, and I fucked her, and I fucked her good. Like, just be real with your shit, my nigga. Yeah. Don't come here yeah, use a religion to try to sway people that ain't gonna move me bro because not nah, at the end of the day you was out here preaching some other shit and doing wild shit behind the scenes like even if that happened before they was married before they was married you still was online preaching all this relationship guru shit so that none of that none of that i don't care when it happened the fact of the matter is you're online telling people that they shouldn't cheat and they shouldn't do this and they shouldn't do that but you're not living in your truth like no i can't fuck with that like no nah, i can't fuck with that you're a fraud 
We don't need one of those. Like, come on. Now, if he could just come out and be real with his and be like, yeah, I cheated on my wife and I slept with that surgeon last week. Yep, I fucked in my truck. That same truck y'all see me recording it. Yep. Da, da, da. Like, be real, <laughs> my nigga. I think like, it's too late now. I, I don't know. I, I I think there's a glimmer of hope, but the at the rate that they're going in. No, Derek Jackson, delete all your social media and focus <laughs> on the life for your fucking kids and go ahead on. Just Get on. Like you're dumb. Like if your wife don't leave you, then you really need to let go of this life, and you need to sit. You need to downsize your entire life, and you need to sit and focus on your wife and making that better. Because there's nothing worse than being cheated on, and then being cheated on publicly. Like, come on, that that I know that woman's spirit is broken. Like, I know yeah. it. Is. I know it. Is. Ain't no way in hell it's not. And if it is shit, then if it's not, God bless her because she got a, the Lord bless her with a real strong, you know, mental stability to be able to handle that. But I know me, oh, I'd be in the house slicing and dicing shit the fuck up. <laughs> yeah, and he got a shirt. He even got a shirt. Black men don't cheat or something yeah, like that. Men don't cheat. That black men don't cheat shit. And that's clearly a lie. I'm like, go ahead, bro. Don't, 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 don't draw that narrative because you know what you're doing. And what he do is when he pander to women, we be over there be trying to tell women like. On Facebook, I used to say, hey, this dude, hey, y'all need to stop. This dude playing y'all like a fiddle. I listen to his shit. That shit, he's playing y'all. I'm like, if y'all don't see it, then I'm going to leave it alone. When when were you preaching about something 24-7, more than likely, it ain't that. Niggas be saying, I got nine inches whole time. Yeah, you don't. <laughs> <laughs> this makes so much sense to me now. It makes so much sense to me now. Like he preaching all of this faithfulness and all of this. This is what a God's gonna do. This is this is how it is. If he if he feel this way, because he was out here doing it. Talking about himself the it whole entire time. So Literally you're talking about his sense. fucking soul. <laughs> it makes so much sense, like. I, I got a feeling. I got a feeling. I got a feeling. Some women in this camp that you know that's gonna have this PTSD afterwards. It's gonna blame men for this shit <laughs> for some reason. They could be like death to all men. Yeah, and we was the main ones. I know. I was like, yo, this Bama ain't that Bama. I'm no, gonna tell y'all. Cause he was the savior. He was like the savior to black men. And now women won't really be like, oh, black men. This is what it, at this point I'm convinced black people ain't shit when it comes to relationships. Anyway, <laughs> I hope y'all. Cause I know some females out here doing some wild ass shit, and I'm like, yo, that's real different. But whatever. So, mm, yeah. but you know, at this point, when I don't know what it is with black folks, but we need to take it back to the fifties and the sixties where motherfuckers are getting married yeah. and making it 50, 60 years. Cause y'all got me fucked yeah. up. I don't understand the problem. Building, I don't building understand. Strong families. Yeah, y'all not building. It's like I know a lot of people who got see who are single parents and shit like that. And I will never claim being a single parent because my my child's father do his thug thizzle, but and is out here doing you know single mothers and they out here doing it alone. And I don't even understand why black families don't even make it no more. Like that shit is ridiculous. Stop laying your dick in everybody. Stop letting niggas nothing, y'all. That's why I'm to say fucking sight. Come on. Hey, PSA from Miss Maddie Morodo. Oh, another PSA, ladies, a baby is not going to change no nigga like that just please remember that like a baby will not change no man a baby will not change that nigga okay it's all about the breed 